Hey everybody, Crystal with Crystal Clear College Planning and welcome to our video on taking a gap year before attending college. Uh, I will often get this question from families that have juniors or even seniors in high school where they're just not yet ready to go off to college. Um, and so they feel like there's a little bit more growth that they can do. Um, and is this actually can be a really beneficial pathway. Um, so we're going to talk about how all of that uh, works. So what we look at is actually you will apply if you are a high school senior, you're going to apply to your universities just like you typically would. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to make that plan around what you're going to do to best utilize your gap year. When you get accepted to your universities in, um, and you get your award offers from all of them, then in the spring of your senior year, you're going to respond back with, I would like to take a gap year and you can tell them what that's going to look like for you. And then colleges will um, say, yes, no or um, have some contingencies. So why most often than not, you're going to see that colleges are going to say yes, but there can be a few exceptions to that. Um, if you are on the wait list or you get deferred um, and then you get accepted, a lot of the universities will not then allow us to take a gap year at those institutions. So that is definitely something to take into consideration um, based on what we hear back from in regards to our schools. So, um, but most take this in terms of a very favorable thing to do a gap year, right? Because as I said earlier, you're growing as a person. So you're also getting to kind of reset, reboot, take that break from all of the high academic pressure that we've been in and kind of refocus then on your goals and getting that deeper understanding of yourself and your values and your passions um, can definitely be beneficial. And statistically, actually, um, that the schools that have reported students doing gap years have done better um, in regards to their GPAs and actually graduating in four years than those that don't just because they come in with that next level in regards to experience. So some of those things that we could think about exploring during a gap year is our college um, major. So that career exploration side, really diving deeper into taking on some opportunities to see what that really looks like and what our passion is. Um, in general, just doing some personal development. Um, we could do some cultural immersion um, or do some service work. Um, I'm actually going to put a link in the notes for you guys uh, to our guide that we have on gap year programs. Uh, so you can use that as a tool to get started or ways of thinking about ideas. But it's also something that doesn't have to break the bank, right? Like you don't have to go spend a whole bunch of money um, if that isn't something that's available to us. There are definitely plenty of options for you to take a gap year program um, and you know do that stuff that's going to be uh, volunteering or taking that part-time job and just gaining that valuable experience. So in summary, though, a gap year definitely can be super transformational, and it provides all of these different opportunities to explore our interests and gain that experience. But most importantly is understanding that the timing for all of this, um, you are still applying to all of your colleges like you normally would, um, and then you're investigating those gap year programs for what is going to be that best fit for you. And then at the end, when you hear back from your colleges, that's when you're going to request from your school to be able to do that gap year. And then what you'll see them do is then roll your admissions into either that next semester or that next academic year, um, as well as the scholarship monies that you have received. So that's all a really great benefit. So I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you at our next video.